Hi, welcome back to me and Monami. Now, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you will know that the temperature inside our Citroen Ami is, um, well, it's, it's what they call a bit of a bone of contention. In summer, this car gets incredibly hot, way too hot often to go in it. But there is also another problem because what keeps it out keeps it in, or what keeps it in doesn't keep it out. You know what I mean? What I really mean is that in winter, it gets ruddy cold. So in this video, I'm gonna run you through some of the best ideas that we've come up with over the last couple of years to make your Citroen Ami warmer in winter. And then at the end, we're gonna test a couple of products that we've bought with our own money on Amazon. This gorgeous looking heater and this fantastic heated stab vest from the center aisle in Lidl that Mr. Boo is gonna model. So why is this urban mobility object such a draft and chill bucket? Well, put very simply, it's made of incredibly thin plastic and there is almost no insulation. Take a look at the roof. It's very thin plastic, which is why it gets so hot in summer. But you can see if I'm pushing there, there is absolutely zero insulation. Similarly, if you come here, Mr. Boo, and take a look at this door. If you look at the inside of the door, again, that's straight to the outside and these are hollow. Um, so it's very plasticky. There's lots of places at the front here where draft can blow up from the front of the car. Uh, Citroen have put a bit of foam down here. I think you can see it, which I think is largely to protect the windscreen, but also does, does block a little bit of the draft. But basically there are lots of places where you could add insulation. Uh, now I've been watching on some of the French uh, Facebook groups and people in the colder bits of France have already started to insulate their cars. Some people have taken apart the inside of this door and they've put a, a little panelling um, here. You can, you can actually buy this stuff on Amazon. There's a sort of foam insulation uh, section of Amazon and, and it's the sort of stuff that you also would buy for sound insulation. So if you were gonna put something down there or if you were gonna put something in the roof, which I'm thinking about doing up here, uh, if, can you see in here, Mr. Boo? Um, if you look up here, you know, you can very easily put a piece of foam in here that actually would look quite sexy. Some of that spiky foam is quite cool and I think would make a big difference. Similarly, if you were to insulate these bars, can you see these bars up here? Uh, if you were to put some of the, the foam around these, it, that would give you a double purpose. It would, it would give you a little bit more insulation and also a little bit of protection in, in the event of a, of a Monaco style rollover. Um, but the other thing that of course causes a lot of this draft is, is the fact that if you can see under here, you've got a big hole here and you've got a big hole around here, which is of course why we produced our uh, me and Monami draft excluders, very draft excluder kit. If you check on me and uh, these are just 3D printed and that goes into this, this hole here and that stops that being drafty. And then you just put this um, onto, the, uh, onto the handle and it goes into here and that stops that being drafty. And the other thing that I've seen people do very cleverly is put this car up on an inspection ramp, go underneath it and look at all the places again where uh, you could put some insulation because the frame is very basic. That's how they keep the price down on this thing. So there are lots of areas where you could, if you've got the time, go around with some foam and some tapes and some, 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 uh, some stuff to bung up your holes, uh, which will make a big difference. But of course, all this insulation is gonna keep you warmer, but it is not going to heat up this cab. And of course, heating up this cab is really quite important, not least because as we all know, this thing steams up like crazy. And no matter how much anti-fogging spray you put on the windscreen, you often find yourself in winter having to open the windows, at least partially, to, let the, uh, to, to change the temperature so you get rid of the steam on the windows. Net result, of course, you get cold. Now, of course, it does come with a heater. Uh, the heater blows out of this wonderful little slot at the front here, uh, which we 3D printed a diffuser for. Now, 
it does work, it does get hot. The problem is uh, it burns up an awful lot of the traction battery. You know, anything that heats up, even a small little heater, uses an incredible amount of power. Uh, if you turn a kettle on, it uses an incredible amount of power. It's one of those things that really surprised me when we were first looking into all the sort of portable power station stuff, just how uh, power hungry things with a heating element are. So if you are not wanting to be reliant on the, uh, the internal heater and the effect that has on the traction battery, what are the choices? Well, some people have bought heated car seats. Again, these are all across Amazon. I have little doubt they work. People have reported back to me and said they're great. Some of them come with a, a cooling feature, which I'm not convinced by because the cooling feature really isn't, isn't, uh, isn't pumping cold water or an ice through the thing. It's actually a sort of little fan at the front, which, which will just redistribute warm air. But the heated seat thing will work. Something else you can get, which is something we got last year, is one of these little diffusing heaters that actually just sticks to the dashboard. You can either use them, and we did, we did work out that if you had a couple of these, it would actually keep the steam off the front windscreen. They're about 20 quid on Amazon. Uh, and you can just stick them on here, or you could have them facing, facing the two passengers. But the problem you will find with any of these external heaters is that they all come with a cigarette lighter plug. Now, I think virtually every car on earth, except very, very old cars, has that kind of socket. The Citroen Ami doesn't, and it's a major problem. I've tried adapters where you actually plug this into an adapter, into a sort of male to female adapter here, and then you put it into the USB socket. I have not made them work, and I have yet to discover anybody who I've chatted to on Facebook, etc., who's managed to make them work. If you have, let me know. So you're left with the problem of what do you plug this into? Now, some people have suggested that I think you can you can get under the steering wheel here, and you could directly hardwire something like this into the 12 volt battery. So this will be powered by the 12 volt battery. My worry about that, about hardwiring it to the 12 volt, is I know how many times we accidentally leave our fans on. How easy would it be to leave this on for 10 minutes when you get out of the car because you're rushing, you've gone into the supermarket or whatever. When you come back, you've got a flat 12 volt battery. And as we all know, if your 12 volt battery goes flat, you can't actually turn on the car. You can't turn on the traction battery. So that 12 volt battery is absolutely vital. So it is a real problem. And it's one that really we have only got around by using our old Fender portable power station, which is our giant battery, because they of course all come with a a cigarette lighter socket. Now, obviously this is our big one that we use, the All Powers one to, to, to recharge the car. You can buy them for as little as I think about 150 pounds with one of these sockets in. I think that is the safer way to power something like this, but you may want to take the gamble and hardwire it into 12 volt. It will certainly work. It just does have those risks. Um, so anyway, that was last year's solution. But now I want to, uh, to try out this year's solution because I saw this DeLonghi heater, which to me, uh, I think somebody again in a French Facebook group had, had bought one for their Citroen Ami and was waxing lyrical about it in French. Uh, and uh, it struck me that it looks, it just looks like it fits, doesn't it? It looks like it's from the same design school as a Citroen Ami. Um, if I show you it here, if you see their advertising, there's always a lady in an office walking around with it, a bit like it's a sort of transistor radio. Um, they managed to keep the cable hidden on that bit because I thought it may be rechargeable, which would have been wonderful, but of course the power it uses would make that impossible. Um, but I think it's quite a groovy thing. Now, I think it draws about 350 watts, 360 watts. So this should make your Citroen Ami very hot very quick. It could be the perfect thing for you to have in your car so that when you come down in the morning on a cold and frosty morning, as Oasis sang, cold and frosty morning, um, you just bung this on for five minutes to, to heat up the car. It also fits rather nicely on the, uh, <laughs> on the bag there. But you can see what I'm saying about the styling. It looks quite cool. But what we're going to do now, uh, and we haven't tried this yet, is we're going to plug this in. Again, you're going to need a portable power station of some kind. Uh, we're going to plug it in and with the infrared 
camera that we used on a previous episode, we're going to see just how much heat and how quickly uh, this can heat up the cab. And then we're going to try Mr. Boo's um, uh, heated stab vest from Lidl and see what difference that makes. OK, so let's uh, let's plug this in. Should be said that this heater has a little trip thing here, which I didn't realise. Uh, which is basically a, a thing of protection. Obviously, if it falls over, it turns automatically turns itself off. Now, you may, I'm not saying you should, wish to take that up if you were going to uh, put this in the car, but you may wish to keep it safe, in which case you may possibly just mount this on here with some very strong scotch tape, uh, that 13 kilo tape I'm always going on about, which I absolutely love. Uh, there you go, 13 kilo tape. Um, again, available on Amazon. Um, but, but Or you may just decide you put it down here and you use this when the car's not in motion just to heat it up. But let's plug it in now and then we're going to put Mr. Boo in the car and we're going to see just how quickly it changes the temperature in here. There we go. It's actually on. So, Mr. Boo is now inside our ME, our top dom thermal imaging camera is on. We've opened the window because reflective surfaces can slightly throw a thermal imaging camera and give you a false reading. But you can see what the temperature is in there. It's about 21.4 in the actual cab. I mean, obviously, Mr. Boo is so hot, he's, he's, oh, he's 29, his body temperature. Um, but there you can see about 21.7, 21.9, it's quite blue down there. Okay, Mr. Boo, turn on the heater. Close the window and let's see what happens. So, Mr. Boo's going to open the window. Let's do another temperature check after about three and a half minutes. And we've actually got the temperature here up to 23.9. Um, I can feel the heat coming out, so let's carry on. So we're now seven minutes in. Let's open the window, Mr. Boo, see what the temperature is. Quickly. And we're, oh, I can feel the heat coming out now. We're up to uh, 24.2 in here. Actually, no, we're not. We're up to 25.4 when we get right inside. You can see the heat coming out of there. What's the um, thermometer in the car saying? 27.6. 27.6. 27.5 we've just reached on the infrared. So we've managed to add about uh, four to five degrees in about eight minutes. So we were at 72% uh, of this battery. We're down to 66. So as I say, you can see it's drawing 340 watts. And it's, it's billed as, as using 360. So, you know, you are going to get through quite a lot of power. So this is why I think wiring it into a... The 12 volt battery is a high risk strategy. Uh, that's not to say you shouldn't do it. But now let's try Mr. Boo's little center aisle heated stab vest. So Mr. Boo, get the, uh, get the center aisle product on. Look at that, Silver Crest Personal Care, a cuisson chauffon dos a nuke. It's a nuclear stab vest. Ooh. Again, it comes with a plug, so you're going to need it. Oh, it's, it's, like, it's like, your, like your granny's old electric blanket. Do you remember everybody used to have an electric blanket and then every winter there'd be all these scare stories about people, people frying themselves in Barnsley. You know, they'd go to bed happy, getting toasted. Next morning they'd wake up, they'd be, they were like Mrs. Gandhi. Christ, I've an outbreak of burning man in this video. I don't think we'll get away with that joke. I may have to cut it. Apologies to fans of Mrs. Gandhi. Um, look at this. What a what a thing of beauty is. You meant to put it on your back, are you? Yeah. It's it, it, you look like you're in sort of Star Wars or something. I think you've got it wrong way around because your label's sticking out. Oh. I think. No, my holes. I need my hole on the oh, other okay. side. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I guess you'd take off this thing of beauty here, wouldn't you? This is, <laughs> this is quite tough. I think you look really cool driving in this. I think it's really safe. So you're going to wire that in. So you plug this into the back. The things Lidl come up with, I love Lidl. I waste more money. I, I got an electric screwdriver this week. I'm very excited by that. I just need something to screw. Oh, that's plugged in. And then let's plug you into the power bank, Mr. Boo. 
and uh, see how hot you get with the uh, infrared camera. Turn it up to full. Oh, oh. you'd like Oh, so that's definitely the nuclear level. Get it on eight. Okay, let's turn the infrared on and see what happens to Mr. Boo. So, Mr. Boo looks like he's had too many ready breaks this morning already. Look at that. He's got a hot head. So, he's 20, uh, 22.7. Let's see what happens to his body temperature as, as the, uh, the little thermal back blanket toasts him. Oh, you're up to 30. Oh, yeah, look, it's hot. So, what do you think? Do you like it? It's, it's different. It's definitely different. May, may the force be with you, I think, is the, uh, is the phrase. You definitely look like Luke, Luke Skywalker or something. Or, or, or from a really bad early episode of Doctor Who. Well, for my money, I think I prefer this. What we're going to do now for the next couple of weeks is, uh, is stick this perhaps to the dashboard, see how easy it is to, uh, to keep there, to see whether it feels safe. But it certainly works and it's neat and compact. And if you've got a power station, it will definitely heat up your cab, but it will use quite a lot of power. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like, please give us a comment. And remember everyone, stay charged.